live from the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort in Orlando, Florida. It's the Cube covering Splunk.com 2016. Brought to you by Splunk. Now here are your hosts, John Furrier and John Wall. And welcome back live in Orlando, the Cube here on the show floor of .com 2016, Splunk's uh, annual fair, and what a great, great event this has been now for a couple of days running, and they'll, they'll be here tomorrow as well. We'll be done streaming, though, this afternoon. Steve Hatch is with us. Uh, by the way, I'm John Walls along with John Furrier. Steve Hatch is the manager at Cox Automotive, and Steve, nice to have you on the Cube. Glad you could be here with us. Thank you for having me. Um, I shouldn't say a Cubs fan living in Atlanta, but I'll, I'll leave that for another day. <laughs> Um, first off, tell us about Cox Automotive, yes, you know, the, the breadth of services, and what are you guys doing at a Splunk conference? Well, Cox Automotive represents the ecosystem of a, of a car, from a dealer side or consumer side, from when the manufacturer produces the car and all the different services that a dealer would leverage up until that car is sold, and then all the functions that a consumer will use, whether it's insurance and ownership of a car, parts and services, and once they decide to sell or trade that car back to a dealer, it goes right back through the life cycle again, eventually salvage and recycle. All right, and then now Splunk, what's the, well, what's the connection there? So imagine all those different functions currently not being aware of what the other does, how one can impact the other. By way of Splunk, log ag analytics, business analytics, you can take that data by way of marketing that would then influence specific traffic on your websites. Those websites turn into transactions which then produces something that can be either purchased or sold that would deplete someone's inventory, and then that provider can then fulfill it automatically because they're already aware. And you're, and you're integrating 30 some, or almost 30 entities. That is correct. So this is a major coordination issue. Yes, sir. Right, good. So the question on Splunk is that we've been hearing is, is that it simplifies life, right? And one of the goals, and first of all, that's always been Splunk's you know, value proposition, kind of emotionally, but there's some technical reasons for that. But the additions that they've done with IT, uh, intelligence, IT uh, SI for instance, has been pretty spectacular in terms of the upgrades. Well, at least they say so, but we've heard that same thing. Have you been leveraging some of those things? What do you see in the evolution of the Splunk products and how has it helped you? Well, initially it was a matter of putting all of this data into one centralized location. And the way that we've leveraged Splunk is by way of Splunk Cloud. Splunk Cloud allows us to not have to worry about so many of the on-premise uh, challenges of firewalls and different data centers and different security policies where everyone has an internet pipe, send all that data to a common place, and from there now we can search and index against that data. So you don't have to, you don't have to stand up anything. That's correct. As, as infrastructure, you just that is correct. point it to the cloud. Yes, sir. And just, they just do their magic. They do their magic on yeah. top of AWS, which we all know is in the cloud web service space. Yeah. And from there, I can do more work on the establishing of partnerships, the, eval uh, the evangelizing of Splunk yeah, across job. the board. <laughs> You're and, doing a better right. job, right? Exactly, Less right. <laughs> remedial yes, tasks, like putting right. buttons and configuring stuff. Okay, Ro Robert Herjavec, who was just on from the Shark Tank, his guest, um, advises clients, first collect the data. So you guys have consolidated around Splunk, right? So that's your collection mechanism in the cloud. Yes, sir. What's next, what do you do after that? Well, I mean, so you have to get out there and sell it. You have to establish partnerships. Then you have to ingest all that data. Ingesting the data, onboarding your users is just one aspect of it. Where we're going now is getting the value out of it because over time, the CTO who signed this deal, where's that value? You know, great, you have terabytes and terabytes of data. Where's my return on investment, my ROI, right? So give me my value. And that's my job is to make sure I provide that for him. And so are they asking that up front? Or are they just, because what's the value that they currently have? Well, currently, right now, it's given. Without the scenario. Well, so before the ultimate value, the users that were onboarded are now starting to understand that we have this one single plane of glass to look for events. I don't have to have access to all servers because a lot of times platform teams are very protective of issuing specific rights to yeah. specific groups to access the servers to look at config files or application It's logs. a crown jewel for the network. You don't want to go in tampering with That's just correct. to get access to data. That's right. So they, since they offload a critical resource, yes. move data, dump it into Splunk. Correct. You have free access to this wrangling environment. You munch the data, yep. you wrangle it, and then you then come back and say, here's value. Well, and so, and even before we talked about some of the monetary values, teams can now, by way of Splunk Cloud, have access to all data buckets, if you will, indexes, 
So if you're an application team that knows you have a dependency on someone else's technology, I have direct access to correlate those events and now I can escalate to the group and say, guess what? I'm having an issue and I know where it is. You're like air traffic control. Yes. You're like landing planes, moving cargo, <laughs> moving passengers, right. yeah. events. I yep. mean, it's a lot of logistics. But imagine not having to wake up everybody to fix a, a problem. I can call this person and this person only that have any influence on the issue and resolve it You quickly. don't got to pull the fire alarm and wake everyone up. You just basically go right to the person. That's correct. And get the job done. And it's done. transparent. So that person who's the source of it can't deny it because he knows it's in Splunk too. <laughs> can, can you give us an example how, because you've got, like I said, you've got so many arms you know, going on out there, but maybe an example of where Splunk has increased your efficiency or productivity or something that you couldn't do before, that now because of that, yes, you're able to realize some real gain. So uh, currently right now with ITSI that we're leveraging for our, Mannheim is the company, Samacast is the application that represents the digital uh, representation of our physical auctions. Mannheim has 80 plus auctions across the United States. Each auction has X amount of lanes, some as many as 32 lanes that run in parallel to auction off cars between dealers. All of those cars are Samacasted. So users can bid online against people that are physically in the lanes that can actually kick the tires. Mm. So imagine if one of those lanes goes down, how do I decipher what the scenario is? Is it one lane, is it multiple lanes? Mm -hmm. Is it the provider itself that provides the internet service that streams the traffic back? Am I going to inundate my network operations team with all these alerts and then they have to sit there and put the pieces together to understand what it is? Mm -hmm. Or do I make sense of it by way of intelligence to then let, allow the tool to make a better decision so they can be more informed and take action and go on to the next event. So on the future environment that you have, what's the vision, North, what's your North Star? As you continue to transform your job, now you're in a good position to add value, you got the air traffic controller, you're adding value that way. What's next, I mean, what else do you see that, where's the headroom, security? Um, what things are you looking for down the road? Obviously security. Next is the uh, business analytics that can go directly into to business, specifically marketing and sales. Allow them to leverage this tool, which is not only geared towards the technical, so they can leverage pivot tables by way of uh, data models, so they can build out their own uh, dashboards and templates to actually get value out of Splunk without ever having any kind of technical discipline. So, and also, it's a matter of making sure that Splunk can be possibly that platform that allows our architects to now go back and get everyone standard on key performance indicators, KPIs, to allow all business units to now have services that are aligned. The more we are aligned as a company, as an enterprise, we can get that much more value out of Splunk. So, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, just, um, you know, it, there's always things in the pipeline, right? Yes, uh, you're always looking at you know, what's the next greatest, best, or most important step. So for you, you know, knowing that, that you've got the Splunk tools and you've got the, you know, the, the Splunk team obviously working with you, what's your, the, the, the challenge in front of you? They say, this is our next nut we have to crack. This is well, the next thing we have the, to the, the next biggest nut right now is just automation of our onboarding so that we can focus in on other initiatives and ventures. Our users right now are very demanding of this service because they love it, they've heard about it, they've come to these conferences. So by way of self-service, we're allowing them to onboard themselves with very little intervention from my team. That way we can now focus in on getting that value for our leaders. So the more automation, yes. everybody wins there. That's correct. Steve, my final question for you. What advice would you have for other Splunk customers or potential people that are evaluating Splunk? What problem are they facing that Splunk is the solution? And give them some color on why Life's been improved and why Splunk's a good solution? Well, Splunk, from being a, a prior site reliability manager, Splunk gives you that visibility, the correlation, and the, the platform that all would basically take advantage of and benefit from. It's a matter of having a tool that brings insight into data or events you've never even anticipated. The ability to harness the data, get value out of the data, turn that into a, quickly into an event, and a report, an alert, and a dashboard that is transparent for everyone to see, it, it, it's endless. There, there are no bounds. The bounds are your imagination. Mm. And it's not my job to interpret the need of my customers. 
I provide the platform, allow them to then put their spin on what they want, what value they want out of their data. I just make sure I maintain the platform for them. Yeah. And we kind of heard at the keynote this morning, imagination, right, that's the key word. Yes, sir. And there are a lot of buzzwords going on, but they're talking about imagination, just yes. trying to apply that to how you're doing your business down the road. Steve, thanks for the time. I appreciate Pleasure it. Pleasure to meet you, good luck down the road. Sounds you. like you're in pretty good hands with Splunk. Yes, sir. Making it work for Cox Automotive. I got a great team, yes, sir. Good deal, thank you. Steve Hatch thank for you. Cox Automotive, back live from Orlando, here on theCUBE in just a moment.